Let's test out Louie's recall. I don't even know where he went. Come here, Lou! <laughs> He's down in the pond. I don't know if you guys can see him. He loves, he loves the pond. Come on, Lou! It's like 60 degrees here in New York. It's beautiful. Here he comes. back to my channel Liz and Lou. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to get your dog off leash using a couple things actually. Um, I have a couple tools with me today. I have a long leash. It's 30 feet. Here's Lou. <laughs> um, and I have his e-collar and I have the treats I showed you in my last video. So before we get started, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I'm always making dog videos. If you like that type of stuff, please feel free to subscribe. Hit the like button if you like this video and comment below how you trained your dog off leash. So I wanna let you guys know we're not away from home. We're on my property. So Lou's off leash usually on our property. I don't take him off leash in public, honestly. Um, if, if you guys have watched my channel, you know that Lou has territorial and aggressive um, problems sometimes with people and with dogs. Depends on the situation. So I always leash him in public um, just to be safe. All right, so let's get into the video. So Lou has his e-collar on. I did a video on the e-collar, but I feel like I didn't do it justice, so I think I'm gonna redo it. I actually took it down. Um, but anyway, I'm using the same e-collar that I did if, in that video, if you saw that video. I just wanted to do a little brief overview of the e-collar. I'll probably do a full video on it again, like I said before. Um, but just so you know how to use it with recall, um, usually I would just use vibrate with recall, but yeah, Louie has it on vibrate. So if he doesn't come after like the second time I've called his name, I will press the Y button and that just vibrates his collar. So it kind of just like wakes him up out of his, like whatever he's distracted by. And then he'll like see that I'm calling him and he'll run back. Um, if the dog's really stubborn, if I've hit it like twice, three times and he still doesn't come, then I'll put it on the shock and just give him a little shock and he'll come right back so he's usually good with that unless he's like really distracted like if somebody's on our lawn like if somebody if somebody's on our property or something and he's like you know he goes like ballistic over people on our property because he's territorial so in case like that something like distracting um like another person then um then i would use the shock i think more because he wouldn't come but usually if we're just like this, you know, like if it's just him, he'll come. He'll, he won't, I won't even need to use the e-collar. He'll come when called. Okay, so my first tip is to get your dog's attention, whether it be with a toy, a treat, or just running around like crazy. Um, I've seen people like run around in the park on the long leash, I'll show you guys that, and just run in different directions so your puppy or your dog ha always has his eyes on you and kind of trains them to like look at you and look for your next move. Another good tip is to have a good recall. I'm gonna make a video specifically on recall. You want your dog to know what word means you want them to come to you you know you want them to understand that when you say that it means come back come home and you can use tools to help such as the long leash or the e-collar the long leash gives them slack so it kind of feels like they're off leash but they're not so if they try and run away they can't run away so it doesn't start the habit of them running away and not coming back because they're on the leash Another tip is to never punish your dog if they ran away and then they come back because then they'll think that they're getting punished for coming back and they'll stop coming back. When they're a puppy, it's also good to keep them on a leash. That ensures that they're tied to you all, all the time and they don't get in the habit of leaving you and running away because puppies are really curious. Sorry guys, it's super sunny here and I'm like squinting. Okay, so I'm gonna hook Louie up to a long leash and show you guys what I was talking about with running around and having the dog chase you. Let's test out Louie's recall. I don't even know where he went. Come here, Lou! <laughs> He's down in the pond. I don't know if you guys can see him. He loves, he loves the pond. Come on, Lou! It's like 60 degrees here in New York. It's beautiful. Here he comes. Are you all wet? Come on! Oh! <laughs> Come here. 
It's also good to have a nice warm tone. It gets them excited. Hey, buddy. Good job. You came when called. So it's about 30 feet long. Do you want to just run around? Get your dog excited and to chase you. Hey, Lou. <laughs> So by getting your dog to chase you and acting fun like that, the puppy or the dog is going to be super interested in what you're doing um, versus anything else around. And it also just is practice to get them to always be by you. Come here. So in this case, guys, Louis seems a little bit more distracted on whatever is over there, probably deer poop. So this is where we bring in the traits. So when your dog comes when called as a puppy, when you're teaching it recall, when it comes, look, he's already up. You smelled them from all the way over there. And see, he's like super into these treats. So it's perfect. You came, good boy, there you go. Go on. Good boy. <laughs> you can't handle a 60 degree day. You're used to 25 degrees. I was gonna say, comment below if your healer loves swimming because Louis kind of getting into it more. Usually he just runs in like he just did on a hot day. He'll run in and get wet and cool himself off. Last fall, or you know, this past fall, he actually swam out to the middle of the pond to meet me out there and he never does that So I'm really excited this summer to start swimming with him I'm gonna get him a life vest and I'm just so excited. It's such a beautiful day It's just a great day to be outside with your dog. All right guys So that's about it for this video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up I've got a treat in my hand to make Louis stay here with us Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't already please comment below how you taught your dog thank you guys so much for watching we sit and we'll see you in the next one